In government, Monday's planning board meeting began with two minor site plan approvals for signage at new restaurants on Washington Street. The first, a continued hearing from their last meeting, was for Nord Spice at 655 Washington Street. The applicant made the suggested changes that the board gave at their last meeting and the plan was approved. The second was for Happy Kitchen at 663 Washington Street, which was also approved. The third hearing of the night was for the redevelopment of the existing Big Y Supermarket and Plaza. After about a half hour discussion, the board came to a vote. Uh, just, a, just a question on the, on the uh, no parking area, and we know that has to go to the uh, selectmen. Uh, would that be that we would just, part of the condition would just be that we would write a letter in, uh, letting them know the situation? Um, requesting their approval. Yes, yes. Yep. So the responsibility will be the applicants to pursue that approval, but I would be glad to provide a, um, a memo to the Board of Selectmen explaining um, that this was discussed during site plan approval and that um, it was based on the recommendation from the project engineer to provide better um, truck traffic uh, flow in and out of the site. Sorry. I think that would be great. That'd be helpful. Okay. Second part, I need a motion to approve with the condition so stated on these Mr. Sheehan. Motion to approve with the, uh, the condition so stated. And a second. I, I have a, a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Mr. Sheehan. On, a, on the roll call. Aye. Okay. Mr. Hatchie. Aye. Mr. Pachikowski. Aye. Mr. Bamber. Aye. The chairman wrote aye. Five nothing on that. The planning board will meet again in the coming weeks. Meeting in person for the first time in months, the Board of Selectmen held a public hearing in the police and fire community room. Owner of the new Nord Spice restaurant, located at 655 Washington Street, went before the board to apply for a wine and malt beverage license. After a few questions and minimal discussion, the board approved the application. In new business, General Manager Tony Mizuko began with a request for authorization to place two tax tile properties to auction. The board voted to continue the discussion at their next hearing. Following the vote, General Manager Mizuko requested an approval for a contract between the town and LifeWorks to continue their services and a request for the town to allow rent reduction of 75% for the OCC and Norwood printing for the months of July, August, and September and allow rent reductions of 75% for October, November, and December. The board approved both. Later in the meeting, Selectman Donahue asked Mr. Mizuko about the status of the hospital reopening. So this isn't me making it up. If gray water has touched parts of the system, it has to be completely replaced. It's a hospital. It has to be built and designed to a higher standard than my home or your home or a building. Because if there's any gray water that got in there and they reactivate that as a building, the potential for mold growth in a hospital is critical. So it's just a very, very difficult, challenging situation. Stewart is losing millions of dollars every single day. They have an asset that generates a lot of money. It's generating them nothing and calling them millions of dollars, costing them millions of dollars. It's an emergency room. It's not as simple as dry out the water, flip on the switches, and call it back. We're spending a fortune sending police and fire all over. Nobody wants the ER open more than I do, but it's not a simple matter of just bullying the hospital into hurry up and get an ER up and running. It's not bullying. It's, a, it's, a, uh, it's an honest question. It's not bullying at all. They're the ones that said that they would have an emergency room open. They're the ones that are come to, going to come to us to ask for zoning changes and, and uh, new concepts under zoning and to change a part that's the center of the town in a very, very big, big way. Right. And part of that should be a, being a good community member and providing emergency care. It's not fun to see our ambulances zooming off to Needham, zooming off to West Roxbury, zooming Donahue, off to Brockton. I don't think they're delaying the opening of the ER. They don't not want to open the ER. I, I think that, they, you know, it's not my job to defend Stewart. They're a private entity, but it's not like they're sitting there saying, well, we don't care about getting the ER up and running. The longer they're down, the likelihood that their competitors will come in and pick up more of that business. They're not sitting there saying, we don't want to get an ER up and running. 
Believe me, they've been working on it. The town staff have been working on it. Inspectors work on it. Everyone wants an ER up and running as soon as possible. You have to do it safe and you have to do it in a practical manner. And you have to follow the rules and the regulations and the codes. Nothing in any of my meetings with them, and Mr. Plasco has been in these meetings with them, the building commissioner has been in meetings with them, the fire chief has been in buildings with, meetings with them. Nobody thinks they're not trying to get there as quickly as they can. The select will meet again next Tuesday. The Zoning Board of Appeals held a few public hearings in their Tuesday night meeting. Hearings included an additional request at 115 Garfield Avenue and an in-law addition for 28 Cedar Street. A heavy amount of the discussion centered around a continued hearing on the property at 600 Nickel Street. The applicant is seeking relief for a few lots of land on the property that stretches out toward Brook Street by the water near St. Timothy's Parish. After discussion, the board voted to approve the second variance requested on the application. The Zoning Board of Appeals is scheduled to meet again on October 6th. The Conservation Commission met on Wednesday night. They had four public hearings as well as regular business to discuss. John Kikich of Bowler Engineering proposed a project at 420 to 442 Walpole Street. Certainteed Roofing Company announced a new project idea for their property on 1077 Pleasant Street, and the new Conservation Commission agent, Holly Jones, gave her monthly report. The Conservation Commission will meet again on October 6th at 7.15 p.m. For complete government coverage, tune into the NCM Government Channel or watch it on demand at nordcommunitymedia.org.